Okay, you guys, so today I'm gonna be doing my January faves and fails. I don't know if I should rename it like my recent faves and fails, but the majority of these are found in the month of January. So yeah, let's just keep it as January faves and fails. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna be always doing like one every single month, but as they come around, I will be doing them. And these are in no particular order, and these, yeah, these are in no particular order, anyway. So the first thing that I have to mention are the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealers. I absolutely love these. I picked these up in Superdrug for three pounds. I think the launch price was three pounds, but they're ordinarily four pounds, like they're normally four pounds. So these are so amazing. They really do cover up. They really do cut the cheek. It's so beautiful. I automatically straight away made the connection between this and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Even though I've never tried the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I've seen it enough times to kind of put two and two together. But these are just so beautiful and everybody else is also saying that it is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It really does just eradicate all of that grey underneath the eyes. They really do like create such a sharp contour. It's beautiful. I absolutely love these and I would definitely be buying these again these are gonna now be staples then I have my the ordinary coverage foundation this is a beautiful foundation it is a full coverage foundation and it was like five pound sixty here's what the bottle looks like they have a decent shade range considering the price point they could have a few more shades but I feel like considering that they are not like a big big brand like Mac or Tarte I I can kind of forgive it but they could have a few more range, a few more shades but considering I get it but I absolutely love this foundation it's so beautiful it is a full coverage foundation it is buildable I tend not to go too heavy with my foundation anyway but it's only £5.60 so even if you found out that you didn't like it it's not like you broke the bank and I think I've said this before I haven't reached for it in a couple of weeks since trying out my next favourite which was the YSL All Hours Foundation like this is just a sample that I have but since trying this one out I haven't been reaching for this one as much but this is a gorgeous foundation oh my goodness this one's a lot more expensive but this was just a sample that i got so that i can color match myself try it out see how i feel about it go to boots and go and get one of these little samples of this foundation it's just oh, so beautiful so so gorgeous i feel like the finish mm, 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 mm. i love the finish of this foundation it's so gorgeous and i have actually got a video of me trying on this foundation and i do tend to like to put this with a little bit of my sleek foundation just to make the color like precisely my shade otherwise this shade is just a tad little bit lighter than I would like it to be but listen look at that review but this is a beautiful foundation it's been kind of put up against the Estee Lauder double wear people are comparing these two as like pretty much competitors and that makes me want to try the double wear even more so that I can try and figure out like is it the same is it not the same I don't know anyway if you like full coverage matte foundation like this is supposed to be like your skin perfected this is that kind of thing Ugh, listen try it go to boots and go get a sample get color matches and go get a sample that's what i'm going to say to you next is like a concoction that i kind of came up with so as you can see here on my forehead i have a couple of bumps this was because i was i was removing my makeup with makeup wipes but then i wasn't really cleansing my skin and then a couple of bumps came up because i was not as i said there were i wasn't cleansing my skin so i came across this milk cleanser this is something that I got in one of my subscription boxes ages ago and I didn't start using it it's the Unani cleansing milk the illuminate cleanse cleansing milk thing and when I use this by itself I wasn't 
that keen on it. And then I thought, hold on, what do I look for in a cleanser? I need to feel like it's really getting in there. So what feels like it's getting in there? Like scrubs, right? So I picked up my lip scrub that I got from, this one's from Lush, it's in bubblegum. I live for this lip scrub, okay? And I've used this on its own on my skin and I find that I can't maneuver it, I can't maneuver it around my face enough because it's such a dry formula. It's it's just not moving. It needs something slippery so that it can be dispensed all over my face evenly and I can really get in there. So I decided to put a bit of this with a bit of that, but well, more of this than that, okay? So just a little squirt of my cleanser and I put in probably double the amount of the lip scrub and I mix them together in my hand and I've just gone at it on my face and my face always just feels so gorgeous after doing this scrub because the cleanser is cleansing my skin, it's getting all of that, it's melting down any of the residual makeup and then the scrub part is just lifting it out. It's just so gorgeous. So even if you don't get this particular cleanser, and this particular scrub. Just get your favorite lip scrub and your favorite cleanser and just try it. So just a little squirt or just, a, yeah, just a small squirt of the cleanser, double the amount of the scrub, put it together and just go at it. It's The thing is, because I think this one is like, is this like mainly sugar? Yeah, it's mainly made with caster sugar. So as soon as it hits the cleanser, it starts to melt away. So you kind of have to go at it really quickly, but because it's melting away, it doesn't feel like it's too gritty on your face because the liquid is you know it's breaking down the scrub as you're mixing it together so it's not too harsh so that's why I'm just I'm just letting you guys know but yeah definitely try it it's something that I have been absolutely loving and I've been loving the results try it okay oh 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 <laughs> need that to say more I absolutely love these palettes I feel like recently I have been drawing for these palettes more often than not when I want something really bright and out there I definitely draw for this one because of this blue this blue oh my gosh when I created a look I think I used these two in my crease and then I put this all over the lid and everyone was like oh my god your makeup is so your, your eye makeup is just so beautiful I'm like oh thank you <laughs> and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I, I just can never go wrong with this palette. And that's to say the same for the Douce palette, but when I want, I draw for this more time when I want something a little bit more natural, a little bit more neutral. I tend to go for creme and crepes. I put those two together and then I go in with chocolat. Like I deepen that crease with chocolat. Oh, I do tend to use this one here, this Tarte shade. You can't see, like this is supposed to be like a duochrome kind of situation so there you go it's more like a pink but in the pan it looks white do that on my inner corner girl it is so gorgeous so i absolutely love this palette when i'm doing something a little bit more natural but i still want for it to be in your face i can never go wrong with previous place palettes they're just so beautiful i'm waiting for my festival palette i've told you guys i've been having some issues trying to get it here hopefully juvia's can pull it together i'm really holding out for them i'm really hoping that we can get this sorted but i'm gonna give them the benefit of that i'm gonna wait next is lip balm i have been on this lip balm kick recently i don't know what it is i prefer to always draw for a lip balm rather than any kind of liquid lip or lipstick i've been drawing for my lip balm more often i think because in this in these really cold months my lips tend to get really really dry and chapped and that's not a good look my mouth needs some moisture so i tend to just draw for some lip balm this one as you can see it's kind of like peach colors but when i don't know if it will work on my hand but there's like a slight tint and when i put it on my lips and it warms up it tends to go a little bit more pink so it does look like i have some kind of lip color on but it's not so intense and in your face but my lips just feel moisturized and moist and soft throughout the day so i've been putting my liquid lips to the side i've been putting all my lipsticks and lip liners and all that to the side for now just so that i can just treat and moisturize my lips lip balm lip balm lastly is my the ordinary primer oh my god i think this one I've listen I've been like shaking it and shaking it and shaking it and just trying to get every last bit of 
this primer out of this packaging because I really want to use every last little bit of it. This one is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. They do have another primer, but this is the one that I originally bought. I think this was the one that Wayne Goss um, was talking about in his video. This was like £3.90, £3.60, something like that. Listen, girl, this is amazing. It doesn't matter what foundation I'm using this with, it never ever lets me down. It's just so beautiful. It always leaves a beautiful finish. My foundation stays on. Listen, get yourself one. It's only £3.60 or £3.90, something like that. And because of the price points with the ordinary, if you don't like it, you didn't go crazy spending ridiculous amounts of money on something that you just ended up not liking. So I would definitely advise, like, pick it up. I need to go and get another bottle of this. I need to go and get another one because this is bay, bay, beautiful. Now to some of the fails of January. Okay, so for the first of my fails is the Max Factor Master Touch All Day Concealer. This, I don't feel like it conceals. I feel like it brightens. So underneath, like here, you can see that there's a couple of dark dots this just does not conceal it at all okay it does not conceal it at all no matter how much I put on it will not conceal it just brightens and you can see some of like dark under eye circles that I have like peeking through but everywhere else it just brightens it but it doesn't cover the things that you want it to cover and this one was like 7 99 this is four pounds there's no like it's so annoying because I think I got this like two, three weeks prior to the launch of the other concealer. So it was just kind of like, oh, why couldn't I have just waited? But I really wanted a concealer. So I just decided to try this one. I don't recommend it. I feel like if you're trying to conceal, this is not for you. If you are just trying to brighten because you have great under eyes, whatever, then maybe, yeah. But also this does crease quite a bit. So that's another thing that you have to kind of take into consideration. It creases. Anyway, next is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. This is like a matte fixing spray, but it doesn't bring your foundation and your makeup together. It doesn't make it look, it doesn't bring it together. It just, it just makes everything look matte on your face. And I like a matte face. That's the whole purpose of me getting an oil control fixing spray. But you know, I want my fixing spray to also like, I want it to not just plaster it to my face so it doesn't move. I want it to set the makeup. I want it to make the makeup look less powdery. That's what I'm trying to say because I don't feel that once I've put this on that the liquid that's in it has made the powdery look go away. Does that make sense? Like I, I need to bring some, there's like absolutely no moisture in it and considering that this is a liquid I would expect it to have a little bit of something going on but it doesn't so yeah I, I'm just not too keen on this. I like to use it for when I'm picking up um, shimmer shades for my palette I'll use this. I'll put this on my beauty sponge for when I'm like doing my under eyes that's fine but aside from that maybe what I need to do is get like a moisture like a hydrating setting spray and then once that's dried then use this I'll try that instead but this by itself it, it just literally it just mattifies it just mattifies but it just does not bring the look together um, so I'm just not that keen on it last thing is this cognac sponge I've had this for a hot minute now and this is supposed to be like body wash sponge and it's supposed to be uh, made out of 100% natural vegetable fiber 100% biodegradable no chemicals colors blah 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 what do you think so why is it pink? It's because of the body wash that I use. So all you're supposed to really do is use it like a regular body sponge when you get into the bath or the shower, okay? So you just submerse it in water and then you're supposed to like just exfoliate your skin, clean your skin with it. This just does not work. And the reason why I feel that way is because it's just way too soft. It's just way too soft. You can see it's a sponge, but I need it to scrub my skin and to lift some of the dead skin off of my skin. Now, when I shave, my underarms for example I tend to completely clean my skin so I scrub my skin and then I will shave my underarms because now my body is clean I don't want all of the dead cells to get stuck in between the blades of the razor but with this what I found is that I washed my whole body did my underarms as well whatever picked up my razor and when I went in for it and I looked at the blade it picked up 
so much dead skin and dead cells and I'll just kind of like this is what should have been coming off on this not on my razor that's why I do it that way and then I ended up having to clean the razor go back rewash my whole body with one of my one of my other flannels and then start shaving once again and it's like okay now I'm clean I can it just didn't it didn't clean me it did not clean me I don't see the point in this and also it doesn't get bigger than this this was the size that it was in the package before I used it this was the size that it stayed at so okay how am I supposed to like this is too small as well it's just way too small I don't know I just wasn't feeling it it's way too soft it doesn't pick up any it doesn't scrub me I don't like it so those are all my faves and all my fails of January I hope to be getting a few new bits coming soon so I'll have some new things to report on hopefully in February but if I don't do another one of these in February do not despair because I will have have another one at some point okay anyway so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and put me on notification and i'll see you in the next one bye